Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and in this session we are going to talk about how we can change SharePoint list hyperlink column behavior in Power Apps view form. So let's get started. First of all, let me talk about the requirement. So let's say for an example, I have one SharePoint list and here I have hyperlink column over here. So basically I have created this column with this hyperlink type of column. Now I just added this type of entry title and blog URL. Now let's say what is the behavior of out of the box SharePoint list form in out of the box SharePoint list form. When we click on that, we would be able to open this type of form where we have this type of blog URL and it is clickable. So whenever we hover over it, we would be having this type of hand icon and when we click on that, it will redirect us to new page. Now when we customize our list form with the power apps, then what happen here is we are losing this functionality, meaning the URLs behavior is somewhat different. Let me talk about that thing over here. So first of all, let me just customize my list form. So I'm just clicking on customize form. I'm just removing attachment control from here. Now I have title and blog URL filled here. Now let me just open up the view form. So I'm opening this view form and playing that. So you can see that I do not have hand icon as well as the URLs behavior is not clickable here. So how can I change the behavior of this hyperlink column into power apps? I am going to explain some tips and tricks related to that. So stay tuned throughout the session. Now in order to change the behavior of this URL column in view form, we need to add one HTML text over here. So first of all, make sure that you have selected your data card, then go to the insert menu, expand text and click on HTML input. So basically this will add this HTML text over here. Now what we need to do here, we need to add our blog URL value to our HTML text. Now let me show you how to do that. So you just need to select your HTML text too. And now the data card value is this one, which is data card value two. So basically what we need to do here is we just need to remove this code from here and we just need to use this formula. The formula is concatenate. Inside that we need to provide a href is equal to data card value two dot text and over here we need to provide data card value two dot text slash a. So this is the formula that we need to use. So what it will do is it will add this type of URL for you. Now you just need to select your HTML text and you just need to change the height and width property of that. So make sure that you enable auto height true and we just need to make sure about the width as well. So let's just make its width as parent dot width. So let's select that control and let's go to the width property and instead of 200, let's add parent dot width, right? And now similar way, we just need to change the X position as parent dot X, right? So our hyperlink column will be looking like this. Now the thing is that we just need to hide our data card in the view mode because at this moment now we want to show this HTML behavior. We do not want to show the earlier behavior that we had. So over here we just need to use visible property. So make sure that you click on this visible property. It is true at this moment. Now we need to add a condition if SharePoint form dot mode is equal to form mode dot view then it should be false else it is true so let's add that condition so now you can see that at the view time we only have this html text option available here right now let's save and publish our change so i'm saving this change and now i'm going to publish this to sharepoint now let me just open up my form in the view mode so i'm clicking here 
and now I have this power apps form and now here you can see that I have this hand icon as well as URL feature as well so whenever we click on that it will open into new tab as well as we have this hand icon available also this feature is something like in the new form uh, it will provide us as a text thing and let's say when we open the same thing in the edit mode it will open the text <coughs> text box as well as hyperlink so we just need to add one more condition here as well so let's go over here and let's just add the visibility condition for HTML text as well so what we need to do here is just select this visible just select the condition that we have written for data card value to similar way we just need to set the visible property of this one as well if form mode is equal to view then it should be visible and for edit form it should not be visible or new form it should not be visible right so now let's just save and publish the changes again all right now let's test the form let me just open up that to the edit mode and you can see that now it is only showing this particular text box it just hit my html text that i have prepared right and similar way in the view form we have this HTML behavior available here so hope this is clear for you now this is how we can change the behavior of hyperlink column into power apps if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you have request for any other video related power apps power bi power automate or power virtual agents you, you can add your suggestion in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I am uploading different power platform related video every day on my YouTube channel. I am uploading video on Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day. Also, if you wish to listen different power platform related podcasts, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to the podcast homepage. From here, you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast on different podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. Also, if you wish to listen also if you wish to receive the daily notification about all my new updates on your WhatsApp number, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form, fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your WhatsApp number. This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.